Hi guys, this is Mike Hibbert back with another Python Django tutorial for you. And this time we're going to cover uh, something that's been requested a few weeks ago, um, which is the topic of um, template tags. Now, uh, in previous tutorials, we've used the default set um, just to basically shorten some words like we have done uh, in this uh, paragraph summary. So we, we used that tag to just basically manipulate the text as it was being rendered into the page. But what about if you want to create something that's a little different? Well, uh, Django allows you to extend the, the set of tags that you can use inside of your template. And I'm going to show you how exactly that works. Now, the first thing you need to understand is the way that uh, Django actually looks for template tags or custom ones rather. The way that they're actually uh, found within the system is that first of all, if I just bring up the uh, sentence.py file, we'll notice there that in our installed apps section, we've got the article um, app that we've been working on in the past tutorials. Now, if we create inside of the article uh, folder structure, a new folder called template tags, all one word and inside of there create uh, an empty underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py file just to make sure that Django knows that this is a new module what will happen is based on what's inside the install apps it will do a quick search within there to see if this template tags folder actually exists and from there it will do some discovery to find out what template tags we have available in there. So in the case of our template tags for the article, um, we used um, the truncate words template tag and we passed it in, uh, I think it was 10 words last time. I've passed in 20 just so that you can see that it's, uh, it's reasonably long and what actually happens. So you get 20 words and then it ends it all by three dots. Now, say you didn't want to do that, you wanted to make it so that it counted how many characters long the string was and then added dots on the end. Uh, truncate words doesn't do that, so you might want to make your own method. Um, and in the case of this, just to, to demonstrate the whole thing, that's what I'm going to actually show you how to do, is to create a replacement for truncate words, which is just going to be uh, a method to actually count how many characters and return that with the three dots on the end. Now, from what you'll see in this demonstration or this tutorial, you'll, you'll see the basics of how to make any template tag. Now, the thing I want to explain is, um, before we go any further, is how template tags actually work under the hood. So for instance, say we've got this lower template tag, which basically creates or takes a string inside from our article.body and turns that to lowercase and returns the string. What that is is actually a, a function in written in Python which takes a value, which is obviously our string, and returns something. Now, notice how we also use the truncate words function. What that does after this pipe, or before this pipe rather, it takes the output from this particular part of the expression as its value into the truncate words function, but it also takes an additional argument. So there are two things passed to this function. There's the first thing, which is the value, which is everything that happens on this side of the pipe character. And then there's the argument, which happens on that side of the semicolon. So how does that equate to, to Python? Well, inside of our template tags folder, we're going to create an articles underscore tags dot py file. And we're going to load that in because this is basically going to be our, our kind of a library of tags. So it starts off as being an empty py file. And the first thing we need to do is do a couple of imports and set something up so that we can define a function. And the function is going to have two arguments, which is the default setting for all template tags. So the first thing we need to do is pull in the template section from Django. 
and from there we want the template library so that we can begin to register um, a new template tag. We use this register variable here as uh, what they call a decorator and if you don't know about Python decorators then uh, unfortunately that's outside the scope of this tutorial but I, I advise you to quickly go away and Google it. Uh, what it essentially means is that before you declare a function you put um, this expression that begins an at symbol before it and it gives it extra functionality and that's that's kind of a, an oversimplification of how it works but if you really want to know the ins and outs of, um, of, of decorators I advise you to go and google that because um, it's not going to be part of this Django series so we use that as our decorator like I say starting with the at symbol we say register dot filter and we'll give it a name now our name is going to be article underscore shorten underscore body just for the sake of having a name for it now that's the name that it's going to be known by when we use it in the template language it doesn't necessarily have to be the name of the function that we actually bind it to though because for instance I've called it article shorten body here but this function that I define it to be could just be called cheese if we wanted but in in the template uh, usage it, it's still known as article underscore shorten underscore body so regardless of what our function is that we actually call it in the end this filter name is actually what it will be known by when we use it as a template okay so the first part of what this function actually does is it takes two arguments body text and length now do you remember I was saying about we have a value that goes into a function and then we have the argument this is our value section which we chose to name body text although we could say value in there if we wanted to it doesn't really matter what the name is it's the actual position of what of when it's been passed across so because it's in the first position that's what we expect to go into the function so it's the bit that goes before the pipe and the bit that goes after the semicolon is the argument so we've called it length in this case but it could be called you know, arg one if you wanted it doesn't really matter because that's the position of the argument so that's that's the most important thing to remember is this first variable is always the value the second value value is always the argument to the function now notice in the case of lower lower doesn't have an argument on the end it doesn't have one of these semicolons with something passed to it so in the case of lower what it's actually doing is it's taking the value but then it ignores the actual argument or the second value of the function although lower will still have a second argument because all ta template tags must have a second argument to the function regardless whether you choose to ignore it or not is up to you but it, as part of the the kind of the conventions to call a template tag it must have two variables as its arguments value and any arguments that you want to pass to it even if it doesn't need arguments like in the case of the lower function now that seems a bit pointless because obviously lower is never going to ever use that variable but as a convention for using template tags it works very well so to just follow the convention you can do that and you know it doesn't really matter too much if you if you ignore that second value so with that we're going to make the function basically examine the string and say is it is it bigger than length of the characters that we want it to be if it is we want it to say that the text will actually be a string with three periods on the end and it will go from the actual or original value one to length of text 
or if it isn't longer than that then we just get the whole string because it's obviously less than the length of the text that we're looking for and then finally just return the text that's all we need to do and that's pretty much our template tag defined in Python so how do we actually use it well all we need to do is we need to take this name here that we used in the register uh, filter command and replace it here so with that we want to be able to pass in uh, say 50 characters so we're saying with the output of whatever comes out of body and out of the lower function so whatever lowercase version of the body comes out of there pass it into article shorten body and test it to see if it's longer than 50 characters now in the case of ours I'm pretty sure it is because I've made sure that I've got a bit of lorem ipsum in there just to make sure that it's massive just to demonstrate the point so once we've done that the other thing we need to do actually I've jumped ahead of myself there what we need to do is we need to actually import the template library inside of the template because it's not part of the, the default um, set of template tags so we do have to load them in and the way that we load them in is we percentage load and then we take the name of the file which it's actually in which is article underscore tags dot py so we go article underscore tags and we leave out the py bit because as a convention Django knows that because we've got that app installed in our installed apps that if we go in there it will go and look in the template tags folder and look for a, a file that starts with the first name as being article underscore tags and and typically will end in dot py so it assumes that this is going to end in py when we actually look in the file system anyway so that should load that in and with that uh, then defined you'll probably have to do a, a, a restart of the the web server in my case I don't because I've already um, actually restarted just before but what we should now see is we should see that this shortens to somewhere around that long so this long rather um, and with three periods on the end and that should prove that our template tag is working so let's just give that a refresh to see what happens there you go so that's refreshed uh, re resized that to about 50 characters long and put the three periods on the end as planned so as you can see making template tags is pretty simple and um, they're pretty uh, awesome when you when you want something that does something special case um, as in the case of uh, you know what we've done here with we've not counted words we've counted characters instead um, I'm sure you know in the lifetime of you being a Django developer or creating Django websites you'll come across plenty of times where the standard template tags just don't do exactly what you want them to do that's the time to start making these custom ones so that's the end of the tutorial um, if this was educational and informative for you then uh, that's really awesome and if you would click the like button just to show that that would be awesome and if you want to know anything about the future tutorials that we'll be publishing over the next you know few weeks and months um, then please click the subscribe button and we'll let you know as soon as that um, comes online you should get a nice little notification uh, finally just to mention um, if you look at the the special announcement that's on my channel uh, there's a very good offer that wingware who make this this idea here uh, have, have presented to me um, for all my subscribers basically they're saying they're saying that if you would like to have the professional version or the the, the personal version which you would normally pay for they uh, will accept a special code that's on that video on this Python special announcement um, and they will literally take 50% off the price of that for you so go ahead and take advantage of that it's still valid all the way up until the 7th of July uh, 
7th of Jul no it's not July not July at all 7th of August this year so you've got you know well over a month to take advantage of that so feel free if you want to get yourself some awesome prof professional development software for your Django efforts or for any of your other Python programming get that uh, that code and like I say anyone who's a subscriber to this channel can take advantage of it it will literally chop off half of the price for you which could save you hundreds of dollars. Okay, thanks for watching guys.